Hi. Hi! So today me and Emily are going to make bioplastic from banana peels. And we're also going to try and test its resistance compared to other kinds of plastic. So for the lab you will need a plate and a knife to cut your banana peels as well as about 3 to 5 um, banana peels. You will also need two beakers of 500 milliliters. You'll also need a hot plate to boil your banana peel. We'll also need a funnel to decan the water from uh, the peels. So you'll need a hand blender to uh, make the banana peels into a paste and also parchment paper for each time you put something in the oven. Also you will need a baking sheet and a magnetic peanut and also a timer. You also need an electronic balance to weigh the banana peel paste. You also need a weight boat to weigh the banana peel paste. We'll have one small beaker of 140 ml. Uh, you will also need a graduated cylinder of uh, 10 milliliters. You will also need a glass rod to mix your mixture of bioplastic. We will also need a micropipette of a thousand microliters to pipette our uh, desired volume of glycerin uh, as well as our desired volume of NaOH. So as for the reagent, we have NaOH at 0.5 molar concentration. We also have some HCl at 0.5 molar concentration and also some glycerin, which will be our plasticizer. So for the first step, we're going to cut the banana peels in small pieces. So here Marion is on, uh, under the fume hood and she's going to pour the Na2S2O5 into the banana peels and we're going to have to wait a minute until it all uh, reacts together. So this is what it looks like. So for this step, Emily is going to decay the banana peels from the Na2S2O5 with the funnel that you see right here. Uh, so now we've added about 375 milliliters of uh, distilled water and uh, this is just enough to dip your banana peels and let them boil into um, with the water for 30 minutes. So now we're going to take the dipped banana peels and put them in the beaker with the distilled water. So now our banana peels are boiling and we have to wait for 30 minutes. For this step, we're going to decant the water from the banana peels. So now that our bananas are decanted, we're going to place them onto a baking sheet and put them in the oven to let them dry. So once your banana peels have been in the oven for 30 minutes, you can now take them out to make the banana paste. So then we are going to take the parchment paper with the dried banana peels and we're going to put them inside of a 500 milliliter beaker uh, to form the paste. So now we're gonna blend the banana peels to make a paste. So first off, we're gonna weigh the weight boy and then put the balance to zero. We're then gonna weigh 25 grams of the banana paste that we just made. After that, Emily is gonna put the 25 grams of banana paste into 
the beaker of 140 ml. So now Mariana is going to pour 3 milliliters of our HCl solution into the 10 milliliters graduated cylinder. Now she will be adding the 3 milliliters of HCl into our banana paste. So now Marion is mixing the HCl with the banana paste. So now Emily is going to take a micro pipette and take two times one mil of glycerine and put it in the solution of banana paste. So now Marion is mixing the glycerine with the banana paste uh, mixture and the glycerine is acting as a plasticizer. It helps with the resistance of the plastic. So now Emily with another cap is going to use the micro pipette and take three times one mil and put it in a solution of banana paste. Right now Emily is uh, mixing for the last time the banana paste with the NaOH. So now Maron is putting the banana paste into a little like petri dish uh, to put it in the oven so the our bioplastic could dry into the oven and then uh, we'd have our final product. You uh, shouldn't keep the banana paste too thick, you want it to make it kind of thin so it could dry more easily uh, in the oven. So this is what our banana paste looks like and now Marion is going to Take it and put it into the oven. So this is our uh, bioplastic after we put it in for at least an hour in the oven at 130 degrees Celsius. And we also let it cool down for at least an hour. And so this is the final product. And now Emily is going to peel it off, but yeah, she's going to peel off the small plastic cup. We use the PASCO 4 sensor that can be connected to a computer, just like you can see here. First of all, we wanted to quantify our bioplastic by comparing it to a normal petroleum plastic. In this case, we used a simple piece of saran wrap. As for our setup, we decided to stabilize our PASCO sensor with three metal rods and from there hang a rope attached to two clips that are holding together two rulers, which between them is the top of the plastic stuck and at the bottom the exact same thing but with the bottom of the plastic so that when we, you pull the bottom string you're pulling equally from both sides which will lead to the most precise result we could have. So now we're going to test the resistance of our sarin wrap plastic compared to our bioplastic by uh, applying a force uh, to the plastic and see, seeing how much it needs a uh, force to break apart. So now Marion is going to calibrate our, our software by pressing zero. So now Marion is going to calibrate uh, the software again for our bioplastic and we're going to test its resistance.
In conclusion, we were able to make a bioplastic from banana peels that were able to resist a force a little bit less than the half of the force of saran wrap.